I believe that the answer to most of our questions about extraterrestrial visitors lies in the ancient records of the Sumerians. The Sumerian civilization emerged in what is now Iraq about 6,000 years ago. They provided the basis for every great culture that followed them, starting with the Babylonians and Assyrians and on and on, up to our own modern society. Every aspect of civilization that we consider essential had its first in Sumer. Writing and mathematics, the wheel, the kiln, brick making, high-rise buildings, kingship, codes of law, astronomy, and much, much more. Many cultures struggled for centuries to advance and to develop. But the Sumerian civilization appeared almost overnight as if planted there. The Sumerians had detailed knowledge of the solar system thousands of years before modern astronomy. How could they have known? Most amazing was the Sumerian knowledge of astronomy. They knew of all the planets we know of today, described them in texts, and even depicted them correctly by location and size. The astronomer Copernicus is often said to be the first to prove that the planets orbited around the sun and that Earth was one of those planets. That was in 1543. But the Sumerians said the same thing 5,500 years earlier. Even more amazing, they described Uranus and Neptune as blue-green twins. Modern science was unable to closely observe these planets until 1986 with the flyby mission of the Voyager probe that found them to be blue-green twins exactly as the Sumerians had described them thousands of years earlier. Was this a fortunate choice of words for an imaginative Sumerian writer? Or was it based on information from someone who had seen Uranus and Neptune at close range? And does this mean we found the first UFO 6,000 years in the past? The Sumerian texts, such as this one, explicitly state that all their advanced knowledge came from those whom they called Anunnaki, literally meaning those who from heaven to earth came. But where did these visitors come from? Did the Sumerians leave any clues to the origin of the Anunnaki? Ancient Sumerian writings describe a planet orbiting the sun on an oblique to the others and of such a long orbit that it only makes one complete circuit every 3,600 of our years. They call this world Nibiru and it was from that world that the Anunnaki came. If this theory is correct, it suggests how an inhabited planet called Planet X by astronomers, could have once been close enough to Earth for the Anunnaki to reach us with some kind of short-range vehicles. Does this explain how alien explorers might have come to Earth in spaceships not too different from those we have today? And if there is a planet such as the Sumerian texts describe, has it not passed by Earth time and time again? My study of history show several time periods during which mankind